So I got this nice new Winnebago trailer for the family right before Christmas and it uh, came with an extra battery on the front and uh, I'll show you in a second what, I'm, what I want to fix. Uh, it's a nice new trailer with a pretty sloppy connection for the batteries. I think a lot of people have this uh, problem and there's a pretty uh, good solution out there. With the dual battery boxes in there you can see in the front all the wire is coming out and sloppy and hanging everywhere. It looks pretty tacky. In addition you can kind of see they don't really fit very well against my camper. There's not much room. So I started looking into solutions and there's a couple of uh, people that make uh, solutions out there, these lock boxes. And I went with uh, one in particular and I'll show you uh, today as I install it. One of the things I'm looking to do is get all these wires which you can see are hanging around the outside of the box, neat and tidy inside the box so that uh, the only, you, only thing you see is just the uh, wires in and out, the supply wires. So the, the solution I found is this is called an RV lock box made by a gentleman in the Northwest. It's a very attractive diamond plate, a powder coated um, uh, box. And I'll show you the pieces of what came in it inside. You can get it, I think, in black and as well as in uh, silver. Of course, there's a, a tab on the side to lock it. A thumb hole here to be able to pull it open. It has a nice little detent. Open. You can see on the inside, Slots in the bottom where the straps that come off your old battery boxes are used to hold down the batteries. Two little aluminum pieces to kind of lift up the battery off the floor. And then there's a attaching hardware and a grommet as well. So nice attractive box. Um, there's three knockouts on this on the, around one on the bottom and, and then one on each end um, to install it. So I'll show you today as I go from the double plastic boxes to this nice and tidy um, single box with all the wires uh, neat and neat and inside. All right, after some uh, work along the way, I'm ready to finally install the batteries. You can see I've got the aluminum bars in there. I didn't end up using his um, four holes. You can see right here and over here, the four holes on the other side as well. I ended up using the uh, just the rivet uh, location. I drilled them out and used the, uh, put my screws in those so the screws are nice and out of the way. But uh, all in all, so far so good. Nice tight application. Nice and looks very looks professional matches my trailer and uh, next up let's put the batteries in <laughs> 